what's going on, I'm still here with a little bit of a different kind of video about how to do some random battles or stuff that I'm not sure about. Um, today, I just wanted to show you guys how to make a layout for my uh, Pokemon battles and stuff, whether it be like graphic format or just you know, random Pokemon battles or whatever. Um, I've had a couple people ask me about this, but I thought I would do this just to show you guys how to make a layout for my this is really boring battle so far. Um, so basically, you're going to need a couple different programs in order to make a layout to properly like, capture the screen and stuff. Um, what we have here is open broadcast software for OBS. Um, I have the Pokemon Showdown app on my computer, so you need some <laughs> you need some way to be able to capture uh, Pokemon, whether that's your internet browser or the Showdown app or something like that. And you're gonna need some photo editing program. I use GIMP, which is a free Photoshop thing, basically. Um, if you can get your hands on Photoshop, I'd recommend that. So it's obviously better. But um, anyway, uh, so what you're gonna want to do is basically start with the TV screen. Um, there's nothing here. Um, but what you're gonna want to do is figure out where the video actually should go before you actually start editing. So, uh, click on settings here and go to video and see how big your base resolution is. Um, kind of to do with that, 10x6 or 9x5, I think is the format of most things. Um, if you can go higher, this can go 1800 by 1000, that's probably better to get better quality, but um, I can't do that. Not that so, so, it's 900 by 500. Um, what we're going to do is add the scene to be able to. Um, actually figure out what the screen looks like. We're just gonna hit showdown screen, edit, and then and just do the size of it. Take out most of the screen, but not all of it, pretty much. Um, and just add smaller than that. Okay. So, that was the bug. If you kind of just want to center it, so this part of the screen, or this part, I guess, if you want the entire screen. Uh, I normally just do this inner square and cut out the trainers and this thing, because you're going to be doing that again anyway. Um, so, right here, you're just going to want to print the screen. Uh, so, I'm going to do 125 by 30. You're going to want to print the screen and bring open every window. I have these uh, windows open. One's 900 by 500 activated, so those 900 are open. Uh, so you're going to paste it into here and just move it over. And this may not seem like much, but if you grab... Oops, sorry. I forgot to get this uh, I've never done this in this one. So, <clears throat> this rectangle right here, it may not look like much, but we can actually use this to figure out the proportions of our actual layout. Um, we are going to go with a new window, paste that in, add a new layer, layer scale, and just 900, 900, and then all of a sudden you have a 900 by 500 screen cap to basically have your layout here. So from here, we actually have the edit game program. Um, checking in my battle. Did that just one in? Okay. Uh, so we're done with showdown for now, because now we're actually just going to do some of the graphics and stuff. Um, what you're going to want to do is just take a rectangle selection tool. Um, and just select the frame pretty much. Like I said, I like to get the inside frame. Um, make a new layer here really quick for these. Alright, so you have the square selected. Um, what you're going to want to do is select invert. So it's left everything outside of the square. Select that it go. And then all of a sudden you have a basic layout right here with just the screen cap. Um, we are actually good with this Facebook layer right now, we don't need it anymore. We just needed to get the square and make sure that it was basically centered and stuff. Um, 
This is a weird program, but anyway. Um, so now we have the basic thing. Um, if you wanted to, you could basically just have this put like a lead logo right here and go for it. Um, I like to make mine a little bit fancier though, so I'm going to show how to do like a border and stuff. Or at least like a super basic border. Uh, just go ahead and shrink this by five. And then you'll have this inverted thing uh, with the border around it right here. Uh, I normally have the color scheme that is picked out beforehand, but I guess it's just go with what I have last time. Now I do the same thing. Do the same thing on the top layer. Neon, stretch this out, and we have a decent layout right here. Um, you may be wondering how we're going to take this image into OBS and actually make a layout. Um, I'll show you that as well. But for now, we're just going to put it in the So we actually want to get rid of the background too, but for some reason I can't get rid of my layers. But I'll show it like this. Um, for those of you that don't know or haven't really used Photoshop before, uh, when you see a grid pattern like this, it means it's transparent, so anything you see um, in the middle you have to watch the screen. Anything you see in the middle of the screen right here um, will show through. Um, we're going to use that for advantage and basically just have the screen cap and OBS running underneath this image, pretty much. Um, so, <clears throat> so this is like a super, super basic layout. Um, if you want to do what I do and have like an image and stuff in the background behind it, um, I don't know if you can tell, but in most of my layouts, I have some of my art and stuff just in the frame. Um, if you want to do that, just go ahead and pull up another image. Um, this one, this one is off. Um, just go ahead and pull up another image. Um, <clears throat> first will be black and white, I guess. But you can, I guess, use whatever you want. Um, just grab a section of it, and fill that. Save. And what you're gonna do is go up to your base layer, use the magic wand tool to select the color that you want. Uh, go layer, layer, and go edit, paste into. Uh, you want to resize what you're pacing before again, I've never really made any like, graphics video like this before, so I don't know if you're going to fast forward and do it and take it over or something. Um, so I put it to this and then you have somewhat of an image right here. Uh, this actually wasn't like the greatest image to use for this, but I guess we'll still show it off. So, what you'll want to do is you'll see the face number one is actually this drawing layer right here. You'll make everything else hidden. Make layer new from visible. Yeah, actually get why can I not okay, so I don't really know why I'm unable to uh, <clears throat> why I can't get rid of any of these layers right now, but just go with I guess. Uh, so obviously this looks a little weird right now, which is just kind of sticking out right here. Um, for this specifically, I'm actually going to... I don't know why that was so hard for me to find. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some of this white with the magic wand tool before doing what I was planning on doing. Okay, so this is already a little bit better than before, I guess. Okay, so <clears throat> it's not perfect, but basically what I did is I just went in and used the magic wand tool to kind of clean this up a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is change the opacity of this layer to 40%? Why that work? That'll be fun. So, change your visible layer to basically just be like a thing. 
could just be like a faint image in your background just to give it like a little bit more depth, I guess. I could also do the same thing if I wanted to like stack images and stuff so it wasn't just a blue background, but we'll just go with this for now, I guess. It's just kind of just a little thing. So we have a fancy image for our screen to go under, but right now there's not really like any information on the battle itself. I guess just kind of the layout. Uh, so what we're going to do is grab uh, a couple of rulers and start frame out where we want to or where we want to uh, show off the Pokemon in the battle and stuff. Uh, I don't know if you if you guys watch the drive stuff. He has a pretty good layout like this where he has like one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, or whatever, and it's just all the Pokemon squares right here, and they get faded as the battle goes on. Um, this is basically how you get the PS. Um, I don't have a calculator handy, so this map is not going to be perfect, but I guess it's the same video I'm going to talk about the video. Um, so just go ahead and grab it up right here and right here. Um, and you'll see that this ruler is at 160, so half the XP. You can see uh, in the bottom part down here when I'm scrolling, once it gets to 80, that means I'm like 80 pixels into the picture. Uh, if you're wondering how I did that, I guess. As this one, yeah, this one is I'm just doing it in my head, it's not really perfect right now. Um, so you're going to want to leave, I'm going to say like 100 by 100 or so if you want to also use um, like if this is for a draft format and stuff, I'm going to show off some logos and stuff. You want to leave like a little square at the top just to be able to comfortably show them off. Um, so this little segment right here is going to be divided into six circles that have enough space to be able to show off um, the Pokemon break and stuff. And the same thing for this side for your parents. Um, so just keep doing what you're doing and um, dividing this up, try to make it as even as possible. 'm gonna try to speed this part up because it's kind of getting a little boring. Um, <clears throat> but basically I'm just trying to divide this or even like make these circles coming up nicer. Um so I'm making the layer. Um we do some beauty circles based but let's go ahead and do it for now. Um, change this so you have the color that you want <clears throat> and the color scheme and like a very dominant color I guess. You kinda of want the dominant color first. Um, you just make like a little oval or something. That doesn't exactly have, have to be an oval, but I found that oval looks better. Um, now we're edit fill. And what you can do here is, depending on what you want in the picture, um, for this one, I actually think I want to do a shrink by size and baby, so I have the background going through. Um, and then you select throw by size. You'll be able to copy this. So now, basically what we're doing is we have these circles going to build um, a little grid of them to be able to show off the Pokemon. Um, I'll probably try to fast forward to this next week because it's probably a little boring, but uh, just basically keep doing this from time to time to time.
probably having pretty bad videos that you have to go make it on a video like this before. Uh, I thought we got pretty quiet. I thought we got to stop music on the back. Um, but I hope this was a little bit better of an explanation of how to do like a pretty basic Pokemon layout like this. Um, please make sure that you're playing the line up because otherwise it doesn't lay a spot. I was just trying to do the super basic thing to show how to do it, but um, it's pretty important to like, make sure that the screen is like centered and stuff. Um, I guess I'll show you how to do that. Um, so you can order purposes and this to center horizontally. And just horizontally is not so easy. Um, that's all this going on. <laughs> okay, yeah, so this will be something. Oh, I guess I do. Okay, so, um, I'm kind of rambling that, but I hope this is some of you guys will be able to do this later. This is a good thing, so, have a good day. Bye.